this lecture let us discuss about word to wake model which is a powerful and widely used technique for creating dense word representation for word embeddings and it captures semantic relationship between words based on their context in a large corpus of text so it mainly transforms words into vectors that can be used in machine learning models to perform tasks such as sentiment analysis text classification language modeling etc there are two primary models used to train word to vec embeddings first is continuous bag of words model and then skip gram model first model is continuous bag of words model the main goal of this model is to predict the target word given its surrounding context words so in fact we can say that it takes the words around the con target word that is the context and tries to predict the target word from this context so it's a step by step process if you take the first step it is define the context window so a context window is defined around the target word this window specifies how many words before and after the target word will be considered as the context so if you take this example the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog here uh for example if this fox is a con target word then and assume that the context uh, window size is 2 it means that context words considered here are quick brown jumps over so this is a target word and this word will be predicted based on the surrounding words and the context window size is 2 so two words before the target word are considered as well as two words after the target word are considered and step 2 is one hot encoding of the context words so here each context word is represented as a one hot vector one hot vector means we already saw this it's a vector of zeros with a one at the position corresponding to the words index in the vocabulary say if the vocabulary is having 10000 words then the word one hot uh, vector for a word will have 10000 elements with only one element being one at the position of the word so wherever the word is present in at that position uh, there will be one in all the other uh, positions it will be zero so in order to get more uh, understanding about the one hot encoding you can refer to my previous uh, video and then coming to the step 3 sum of one hot vectors sibo takes all the context words which are nothing but the surrounding words and sum their one hot vectors this is done because sibo treats the context words as a bag ignoring word order so for example if the context word so in our previous slide we we got the context word as quick brown jumps over so if these are the context words then you need to take one hot vectors of all these words and you need to sum those vectors so sum their one hot vectors this results in a vector that represents the combined information of the context so if you sum the one hot vectors of all these four words will get a single vector right so that vector represents the combined information of the context so as these are context words so that complete information about the context will be represented in the form of a single vector and step 4 is pass the context vector to the hidden layer so now we got the summed context vector right so this context vector it should be passed to the hidden layer so we know that this hidden layer is a weight matrix that is learned during training say if the context vector size is v assume that the context vector size is v that is nothing but the vocabulary size and embedding size is n then here the hidden layer is a matrix of size v cross n okay so what is v here it is a context vector size which is nothing but the vocabulary size and embedding size is represented as n so this v cross n it represents the hidden layer size so the matrix size and uh, then this matrix actually it multiplies the context vector to create a hidden representation of the context next step is output layer the hidden layer produces an output that is passed to the output layer and here the output layer is a softmax function so which mainly calculates the probability distribution over all the words present in the vocabulary 
Uh, so here the output is again a vector where each value represents the likelihood of each word in the vocabulary being the target word. And the softmax function is used because it converts the draw sources into probabilities. What is softmax? So the softmax, the softmax function used here, it converts the raw scores into probabilities. Then step 6 is the loss function. So the cross entropy loss function is used to measure the difference between the predicted probability and the actual target word. So here our main aim is to find out the difference between the predicted probability and the actual target word. Say the target word is assigned a high probability and other words should have low probability. The model it will try to minimize this loss during training. After performing this step 6, back propagation is used to adjust the weights of the network based on the error between the predicted probability and the actual target word. And here the weight updates also occur using gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent to minimize the loss function. Second model is Skipgram model. This model takes the opposite approach of uh, CBAO model. So here the Skipgram model is used to predict the context words given a target word. So this model mainly uses the target word and predicts the context words. Coming to the steps here, first step is define the context window. So just like how we define the context window size in Naseeba model, here also we will define that around the target word. And uh, here uh, for example the sentence considered is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So here what is the target word? Fox. And we are assuming that the size of the window is 2. So then what will be the context words? Obviously we have 4 context words as the size of the window is 2. The words which are before the target word and after the target word. Quick brown jumps over, they become the context words. And then one hot encoding of the target word. So here the target word is represented as a one hot vector. And here the target word is fox. And vocabulary size is 10,000. So here the vector for fox will be 10,000 dimensional vector with one at the index corresponding to the word fox. So wherever the word fox is present corresponding to that will have 1. Whereas in all the remaining places the value will be 0. Then step 3. Here we need to pass the target word one hot vector to the hidden layer which contains a weight matrix of size V cross N where V is the vocabulary size and N is the size of the word embedding. The one hot vector for the target word is multiplied by the weight matrix which results in a vector representation of the target word. Step 4 is to predict the context words. Here the vector which is obtained from the hidden layer is used to predict the context words. And the output layer computes a probability distribution over all the words in the vocabulary using softmax in order to predict the likelihood of each word being a context word for the target word. And the softmax function it also ensures that the output is a probability distribution. Then step 5 is loss function. So similar to CBAO model, this model also uses this cross entropy loss function in order to compute how well the predicted probabilities match the actual context words. Say for example, if you take this uh, target word fox, then the model it should uh, predict the context words like quick brown jumps over. So these words should be predicted with high probability if the target word is taken as fox. And finally back propagation and weight update. The error which is nothing but the loss between the predicted and the actual context words is calculated in this step and the weight matrices are updated using back propagation and stochastic gradient descent. Optimization techniques used in word to vec model are negative sampling, hierarchical, softmax. Negative sampling is an optimization technique which is mainly used to speed up the training process. Instead of computing the full softmax for all the words in the vocabulary, 
this negative sampling only updates the weights of small number of negative words that is it will randomly pick the selected words not which are not present in the context this uh, process actually reduces the computational cost second technique is hierarchical softmax which reduces the computational cost of computing the softmax by using a binary tree structure to represent the vocabulary and instead of calculating the probabilities for every word in the vocabulary this hierarchical softmax reduces the computation of the logarithmic time by using this binary tree structure the advantages of word to wake model first one is capture semantic relationship between words this word to wake embedding it can capture semantic and syntactic relationship between the words words that are semantically similar or appear in similar context they tend to have similar vector representation say if you take words like king and queen or dog and cat so they'll have similar embedding due to their contextual similarities in language then uh, unsupervised learning word to wake is an unsupervised model means it doesn't require label data it learns word representation directly from the large amount of text this makes it easier to apply to a large re wide range of tasks without the need for manual annotation and it even captures the contextual similarity if we take uh, skip gram model or seba model both of them focus on the context as well as they can capture the relationship between words based on their usage in the context say if you take synonyms and related terms like dog and puppy they'll have vectors close to each other in the vector space and then dimensionality reduction so unlike uh, traditional one hot encoding model a uh, word to wake reduces the word representation to dense vector of fixed size say the size can be 100 dimensional 300 dimensional so it will be a fixed size which makes it more uh, memory efficient and computationally efficient when compared to sparse representations and we have few disadvantages as well first thing is it does not handle out of vocabulary words well so word to wake uh, requires a word to appear in the training corpus in order to learn a vector representation say if a word is unseen during training then the model it cannot generate a meaningful embedding for it and limited contextual understanding even this word to wake it treats each word independently and cannot capture polysemy that means words with multiple meanings in the context say if you take a word bank so that bank it could refer to either a financial institution or side of a river so word to wake will learn a single vector for the word bank without distinguishing between these different meanings and fixed embeddings so this word to wake generates static embeddings which means that each word has a single fixed vector regardless of its context say if you take a word apple so apple is nothing but a fruit right so but again apple can be a tech company also which both of them would have same vector representation even though the two have different meanings and this issue is resolved in uh, models like bert which produce context sensitive embeddings fourth one is cannot handle syntax explicitly so this word to wake focus on semantic representations or relationships but it does not explicitly capture syntactic relationship between the words like it can be word order sentence structure and etc